They want to be able to tell their children and their grandchildren what life is still going to be like in the state of New York. They want to be able to tell those kids that there's a future here. They want to feel that future for themselves. They want a government that's going to do their work, not a government that's doing the work of the lobbyists or the union representatives or, or some other special interest or constituency. They want a government that they know is going to do their work. And it all leads down to one big four-letter word called jobs. Or hey, everybody has to have jobs. And the jobs that they want to uh, uh, see are good-paying jobs, not just some nonsense. They want good-paying factory jobs. They want, they want manufacturing jobs. They want creative industry jobs. Well, how do you get that? First, you look at how, why did we lose 274,000 jobs from the state of New York last year? Well, maybe, maybe we look at it and, and, and we use what we did wrong to do it right now and reverse it. We lost those jobs because we have an overburdening tax on our businesses, on our manufacturers, on our, on our basic industries in this state. That tax is too much of a burden for them to carry especially when they're competing with firms from other states that don't have such tax burdens. Our, over, our ever growing state government, this progressive thought that the government has to get bigger and bigger, is self-sustaining. So what do they do? They send out all these regulations, all these burdens on these businesses, rules and regulations that are so intrusive to the business ability to basically operate. Now when they, when, when they, uh, uh, when they suffer these kind of matters, okay, over, over, over intrusive government and high tax, I mean, I'm not just talking about high taxes, we have per capita the highest taxes in the United States of America by 60% over the national media. $7,211 per capita in the national media is somewhere around $4,500. That's wrong. Okay, we can't, we can't expect our businesses to grow and compete and create more jobs and expand, laying those kind of burdens on them. Because How will you do things differently? Oh, I'm, I'm explaining. So uh, the businesses uh, that we have here want, want relief. <laughs> I just pointed out the two reliefs that they're, are most important. We're going to get rid of the overburdening government intrusion into the operations of their businesses. Uh, we're going to lighten up on the rules and regulations, and we're going, to, we're, we're going to inspire them and illustrate to them that that's our continuing effort year after year. We're going, to, we're going to make things more comfortable for them to be here. In addition, we're going to cut out the New York State uh, income tax. We're going, to, excuse me, we're going to cut down the New York State income tax by the 10% increase that was implemented last year. It was supposed to sunset in 2012. We're going to lower that uh, that tax down in 2011. That that accounts for roughly 3.3 billion dollars. The the uh, we're also going to get rid of and phase out over two years the entire. New York State Corporation franchise tax on manufacturers and creative industries. That will give them one heck of an incentive. By getting rid of the tax altogether, we will uh, give them an ability to reinvest those profits and, and what they would otherwise pay in taxes, reinvest it in their companies and expand jobs. We're, the third item is we're going to get rid of the New York State Corporation franchise tax on all businesses the minimum, uh, excuse me, the minimum tax on all businesses. That will help the small and the large businesses tremendously. Right now, small businesses have to pay anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000 a year in minimum tax. Uh, that minimum tax uh, will, be, will, will give them a lift and an ability, okay, to have a breather from the, from the overburdening government. Creating jobs is what the world is about. And, and uh, the creation of skilled jobs, uh, as I just described, is most important. The, the dignity core that we've outlined to the public uh, is an effort to create places for the unskilled to go. Everybody wants to earn a living. Everybody wants to earn a check. The, the dignity core will give everybody that opportunity. In some cases involuntarily for those able-bodied who are not exceptions but are on welfare. We're going we're gonna to force some of them, okay, we will have to force some of them into uh, into the Dignity Corps in order to, to that they can find a pathway to a better life. Uh, most of the Dignity Corps will be will be a volunteer thing, where people will come in who are unemployment, where people.
people who are, haven't been employed, young people who, who can't seem to find a job. They'll be allowed to come into the program. Once, once they're in the program, they'll have a choice. Do you want to go to get? Uh, do you want to better yourself with education? In other words, you want to you want to adopt a trade, and you want to go to a trade school, or you want to uh, you you want schooling, or right, to help you find that pathway. We'll Is that just for heteros? If uh, if you want to uh, uh, work in an urban <laughs> environment, fine. You want to work in a hospital. You want to work in other not for profits. Uh, uh, we'll we'll help you with that. We'll put you we'll put you to work in an urban program. If you want to be, uh, join a military program and go into the National Guard, we'll help you what get if into you're gay? the National Guard and put the. Uh, Can you join the military if you're gay? Carl, Carl, continue. Uh, Carl, what about the integrity of the safety right, net? No, Carl, what a question. What about the integrity of the safety net, Carl, for those who can't meet that program, who have HIV, no, the, who the have AIDS? The Corps would also include a rural program. Why are you talking about We have one more question language. here, folks. Well, let's see if he could answer one about the, uh, about the safety net. He's not answering the tough questions. Ask some of the tough questions, Carl. With no taxes, how are you going to take care of the safety net? Thank you. Go ahead, Carl. Answer a question. With no taxes, how are we going to take care of the safety net? I'm cutting $3.3 billion in, in a basic income tax. We're cutting roughly a billion dollars in corporation franchise taxes. That's $4.3 billion. Okay? Very simply put, we have a budget deficit next year of somewhere in the area of $8 billion that's been projected. And we have $4.3 billion to make up, so I need roughly $12.3 billion. Mr. Palladino, in spite of this, well, let me well, finish, finish answering one question. Right. After this question, we're over. Folks. We will cut from Medicaid $20 billion, of which $10 billion goes back to the federal government, $5 billion goes to the states, and $5 billion goes to... So no wheelchairs, no prescription drugs. Those are the... Thank those you very are... much, folks. Are you worried about losing... Yeah. Thank you.